Hi, my name is Ben Sutcliffe Davis. I'm a marine surveyor based in the UK. I write for Yachting Monthly and PBO and Towpath Talk, and I've been asked uh, by several people to talk about the servicing of uh, Blake Seacox. Before I do, very quickly, uh, you may have seen a few articles I've written, and there's certainly a lot of YouTube posts that I've put up before about the condition of these DZR ball valves. Here's a couple where they've sheared off. This one actually sheared off through the actual hull. Um, looks perfectly okay from the outside, but unfortunately that's where it broke. Um, the pinking is the clue in that one. But anyway, on to uh, Blake valves. Personally, I love Blake valves. I've got them in my own boat. They're bronze. These ones are definitely bronze, and I'll show you why in a second. But um, they're very reliable sluice valve. A lot of people use them for uh, sea toilets and skin fittings for uh, uh, cockpit discharge and things like that. So basically, here we go. We've got two, an in and an out. Uh, unusually, these are too close together in my view. The in and the out should be much further apart or on opposing sides of the vessel. Now these are at least made before 1982 because there's no grease nipple on them. And if there's no grease nipple on them, it almost certainly means that they are definitely bronze and not uh, DZR, which is what's happened to the later ones. So the servicing of the valve is, is quite simple. First of all, you need to get a 5 8 spanner. Please try and get a 5 8 spanner if you can because it fits the, brass, the bronze nuts shoulders without starting to turn them around on the side. If you can't get one of those, a 16mm will just about fit, but there is a bit of play in it. So undo these, get these off. This collar is quite important. There's an open and shut, which I'll come to in a minute. And then to get this valve out, um, if it's seized, you need to go outside the boat uh, and try and get some sort of drift. Uh, my dad used to prefer using a wooden dowel. Unfortunately, I've got one here to show you, which is a bit too tight. Uh, so put a drift in and very gently tap it with a hammer. If it doesn't start to pop up, you need to take the uh, hoses off here, take everything that's flammable away, put a bit of heat around it, put a bit of penetrating oil around the top of the collar and come back tomorrow uh, or you know, use a bit of heat and try and free it off. So once you can get this out, this one uh, explains what's happened with this ring is this ring wasn't in the right place so when the guy thought it was shut it was actually still partly open and you can see this corrosion starting off that's quite common on valves where people don't know how to service them properly so again being an, an older valve no o-rings at the top and bottom so we know this is definitely a bonds arrangement so servicing of it the first thing i would do is obviously clean it up and then i would go and get some of this stuff which is a, a cutting paste used for uh, engines uh, valves and get a bit of coarse I know I should probably use rubber gloves, but unfortunately haven't got any here with the shutdown. And I do that for a good four or five minutes, turning that round, and you can feel it starting to get tighter and tighter as the paste is cutting away everything. Pull that out, wipe it off, wipe down inside the body, obviously, and then flip the lid over from the coarse to the fine. And I repeat that exactly the same again, put a bit of fine on here, whiz it in, whiz it round and do that for a good three or four minutes until you find it starts to go tight. Once it starts to go tight you've got a nice even coverage of the paste on there, you know that you've really done that quite nicely um, and it's actually starting to clean up and you can see how nice and clean that valve is now. There's actually nothing wrong with that at all. So make sure that's well and truly cleaned off and then get yourself some good quality water pump grease. Uh, Blake's do a very nice quality water pump grease for their valves, which you can still buy from them. Put that in there and off we go. Now one last very important thing is make sure that this handle is faced ideally to where that is, because when you drop that down in there, you know that's open. Then, when you look at the top of your thing here, giving it a little clean off with a brass brush, don't use a metal one. Uh, you'll see an open or on and an off. Put the collar down that way. A bit of grease on the nuts and bolts. Don't forget the bottom shoulders are grease, uh, are threaded. Wind those down and it's important to nip this down evenly. Okay? So then when it's off, it will be over here where it says off. And when it's open, it's open. Okay? Here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, and you can see how much nicer that is now. It's all cleaned up and done. And the last little thing is, my dad uh, used to love uh, telling me to do this. Um, if you look at the state of this, a good brass brush will clean this up a treat. Sometimes you can't get inside, but if you get yourself a piece of doweling with a flat on one side and a bit of grease on the outside here, 
you can wind that down inside and start to remove the corrosion from inside. So that is roughly where we are. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my website. Thank you.